Happy Thanksgiving, guys. The Horror Man back with more Thanksgiving theater. Turkey for me. <laughs> Turkey for you. For the last few years, I've been hosting Thanksgiving theater on Thanksgiving. Before heading off to the big family dinner, I watch and review a horror film set on or around Thanksgiving. This year, I considered doing one of the popular Thanksgiving slasher films, such as Home Sweet Home or Blood Rage, and I will get to those eventually, but instead, I decided to go with something else this year. This year's Thanksgiving theater presentation was Body Count. Body Count is a 1997 horror film, also known as Below Utopia. I've actually owned this movie for a long time on VHS, and a while back, I found this Artisan DVD release, brand new and still sealed, at the thrift store. So, I bought this too. When I found out it was a Thanksgiving home invasion film, I opened it up to finally give it a watch. This turned out to be one of those situations where a gem like this has been sitting in my collection all this time, unwatched. But I did watch it now, and it was pretty damn awesome. Do not let this cover deceive you. It's very misleading. Looking at it, I would think it was some sort of, maybe, gangster film. Nope. Body Count, or Below Utopia whatever you want to call it, is definitely a home invasion horror film. You can call it a Thanksgiving thriller if you want, but it's still horror to me. Body Count stars Alyssa Milano, Ice-T, and Justin Thoreau. Justin plays Daniel Beckett, and Alyssa plays his girlfriend, Suzanne. The two have been dating for two years, and they live together. But this will be the first time Suzanne is meeting Daniel's family. He's bringing her to his family's rich estate for Thanksgiving dinner, and they plan to stay the weekend in the mansion. When they arrive and sit down for the Thanksgiving meal, typical family politics ensue. After dinner... Daniel and Suzanne escape to the basement to get away from the family and, well, have sex. Apparently, he wanted some of that Milano cookie for dessert, and who can blame him? She might be at her peak attractiveness in this. Alyssa Milano is beautiful in body count. While downstairs, below his father's utopia, hence the original title, Daniel and Suzanne hear something shocking. Intruders have broken in and start murdering everyone in sight. It's an absolute massacre as family members and even the help are killed. Alone in the basement, Daniel and Suzanne must decide whether to run, hide, or fight. I will say this. Body Count lives up to its title. I was so impressed with this film. Like I said, it was a hidden gem in my collection all this time, and I had no idea. I'd put this movie in the same category as Your Next, Ready or Not, and even Panic Room. I got Your Next vibes more than anything, though. The Home Invasion Massacre is brutal. The fact that it takes place on Thanksgiving is even worse. We get that contrast of what's supposed to be a joyous family gathering, along with some holiday music, too. There are literally Christmas carols at points in the film. The family estate is awesome. I love the mansion setting. Justin Thoreau is great as Daniel. He's sort of a man-child. And, as I said, Alyssa Milano is beautiful. Suzanne sort of reels him in a bit because of their maturity levels. I think they make a good couple. Rumor has it, the two actually dated in real life, which would make sense. 
based on their on-screen chemistry. Although, apparently, Alyssa Milano has denied those allegations. Regardless, I really liked them as a couple in Body Count. The movie is extremely well-paced. With an approximate runtime of an hour and 28 minutes, including the end credits, the excitement starts at around the 30-minute mark. Even those initial 30 minutes are entertaining, focusing on the family politics, as I mentioned earlier. Daniel had sort of been estranged from his family, which is why, despite having dated Suzanne for two years, this was the first time she was meeting them. I was really surprised, though, at how fast-paced this was. Once the invasion occurs, it never lets up. There are twists and turns and truths told throughout. And I love the final shot of the film. I'm surprised this one isn't talked about more. I loved Body Count. I absolutely think it deserves more attention, so I'm glad I was able to review it for Thanksgiving Theater. Have you seen Body Count or Below Utopia? If so, what do you think of it? Comment below and let me know. Happy Thanksgiving again, guys. Eat well, my friends. Thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up and be kind. Subscribe. <laughs>